Good afternoon. Welcome to another in the series of A Story to Tell. Thank you so much for joining us. We have with us today Mr. Wesley Berger, and he'll be sharing with us. And Don't leave off the burger, man. Yes, a.k.a. Burger, <laughs> yes. man. I could not leave that off. Thank you, Mr. Berger, man. How are you? I am fabulous. We wanted to just kick it off. Um, where were you born? And tell us about a little bit about your family. All right. Um, born and raised. Um, at a place called Top Range in Mountain View. Um, I am the last of seven children from my mother and my father. Um, my mother has two daughters out, you know, outside of the, the, the relationship and um, four boys and one daughter with my father who is now deceased. Mm -hmm. Um, I am the last of them all, you the know. The baby. <coughs> yeah, wash belly. Mm -hmm. Can't work with the baby, something baby too big. <laughs> but I am the, 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 the wash belly of them all, you know. Um, went to a uh, basic school of a Swallowfield name. I don't remember what name, but I know say, the, 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 teacher. the teacher named Sister Edna. Yeah. Yeah, man. Can't forget them years in a school, you know, because them years when you go to school, Teacher tell us, she tell us for all out your hands. So every mm -hmm. morning, check your nails. Check your nails. And any other dirt upon it, she look at my hand. And if you say like, chuma, yeah, you know, be happy somebody are talking. I say, chuma with blouse and skirt, mm -hmm. you know. Trust me, she tell you go wash out your mouth with carbolic soap. Yeah. And uh, if you suck finger, them down and them rub single Bible on it. Pan your hand and all them things. So you know, they look mm -hmm. a formal is in a school. Mm -hmm. Very nice. They may leave me go Mountain View Primary School. Mm -hmm. Never forget Mountain View Primary School as well. You have a teacher there, Mr. Mushet. Mm -hmm. Never forget. She, she used a big word for me. She called me a big word. She said, Boy, you're a disruptive element. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the first big word that yeah. I exposed to as a child mm -hmm. from Mr. Mushet. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what Mr. Mushet left for me, them time that she left a scripture verse. She had taught us like a Bible verse. i never forget Proverbs 27, verse 1. She normally makes you recite it, you know? Mm -hmm. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Mm -hmm. Let another man praise thee, not thine own mouth. A stranger, not thine own lip. A stone is heavy and a sand is weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Mm -hmm. And I can't go on, I can't go mm -hmm. on. And that was from basic school days. That I are from primary remember. school, I still remember it. And I can't go down further. That if you teach a child something from their young, when they're old, they won't yeah. depart from it. Yeah. You move on to Mountain View Primary. Uh, when and, and yeah, they did them to mm -hmm. the common entrance. Yes. Um, I never saw successful when I went to Vauxhall. <laughs> <laughs> you never saw successful? <laughs> no. You know, everybody I got a um, traditional high school there, yes. eh, but we go Vauxhall in town, mm -hmm. you know. But, you know, sometimes I know where you find yourself in a life. Mm. You have to make much so of, of you yeah. are able to make much of what you have. Yes. Because sometimes some people say to them, not go out of school, they don't get them opportunities in life, they don't make nothing out of themselves. Yeah, yeah. Went to Voxel and I made the best of it. But they can't blame your yeah, situation. Man, can't do that. Mm -hmm. People want to keep pity party too much. Yeah. And because I never this, and because my mother never have it, and mm -hmm. that not help you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're born, you're done, they already make the best side. So went to Voxel. And you were settled and thing, doing your work. Never second man, still I get problem as I look at you. It's a problem picking. Still a disruptive element? Yeah, man. <laughs> me a ring leader in a trouble. Yes. Me a ring leader in a trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Me just mischievous. I can't stay one place. Me fidgety. Mm -hmm. And you know, I went to Vauxhall. Um, some good teachers again. You know, that made an impression. Steve McLean, my teacher accounts. Mabel Livingston taught us to be ladies and gentlemen. So mm -hmm. big up Miss Livingston every time. You know what I mean? And thing and. Didn't the subjects weren't all that successful with all of the CXC. Because them time I never have no maths. Because them time you have general maths and basic mm -hmm. maths. And you take the basic? We take the basic. And the pass in the basic are one. Mm -hmm. And you get two? I get four. What? Four I get. If you tell you I did blind. Mm -mm. Yeah. Never know the maths. So how that make you feel? You know, so when I do all my subjects, I don't have access. I make feel I look away. You know, because them you got Wild Man Street and you know them you I know like Dave Stewart, mm -hmm. Monica McLeod, and then people they pass up them whole heap subject, you know. Mm -hmm. And I never forget, even Sheena, Sheena did her subject 
and um, she got them, but I don't think she got the amount she mm -hmm. wanted. I hope she not kill me for this. But I remember even she in a stop. She never even, I'm a good friend them time there. Mm -hmm. All of you in the same age. Yeah. Right? yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember she wasn't all that successful. Like, let's say if she go for 10, she probably mm -hmm. get 7. For, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But I know she wasn't pretty enthused about her result at the time. Mm -hmm. But you see, look at Sheena now. Mm -hmm. And if you can't say, look at, just look at me now. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just fling up your hand the ear and, and say tap. it's all over. No, man. You still have a push. You still have a push. We go a camper down in other repeaters program, fell in love with English, fell in love with math all mm -hmm. over again. And I got my subjects them and thing and then I leave and say, boy, you know, you got to try work now because you're out of school. Yeah, look at work. Yeah. I got a little, you know, a little juggling here and there, but I never forget me get a little thing done. Huh? A place named Jamaica Fiberglass, man, East Street. Mm -hmm. You see them chairs where you sit down, pan, where you got mothers and all yeah, them places. They make those chairs. Yeah. They make them, and them time, I never know saw fiberglass. I mean, I look at where else there. Mama King could have crutched me. Very itching. Fiberglass, you know. Mm -hmm. Fiberglass. And, you know, remember one time I come to church, because them time I used to come and think them 245 prayer meeting and them something. Oh, after you know what school I mean? for the students. Yeah. And that yeah. is at the same Pentagon Street. Same Pentagon Street. Street. Mm -hmm. You know, I really respect my churches, give, give God praise. Mm -hmm. Because even though we might not go to church right now, yeah. the but those were planted. the times mm -hmm. where mold you. Yeah, to what you are now. Yeah, man, they mold you. Mm -hmm. You know, big up Father God for that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Them things, they mold you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even some people out there, they not find themselves in a church, but you're still. Church is just the, 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 the era where we meet and worship, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You have to carry the rest of it. You have to carry the word of God in your cars. Mm -hmm. me, not, me know the word. I'm in Australia. I'm in a depart for it. You know what I mean? But I book up Claude McIntosh. Was he a good and friend? And I see me one day. Yeah, man. He mm -hmm. used to go back to the town. Okay. He had me about a year or two. And my brother, he and my brother in the same class. And class, so we had to be there seven hours. I tell him, I said, well, I'm at work. I said, work? No, man, if I go back to school, I said, no, man, if I go back and get looking money now, because I'm going to be mad alone at work them time. You know what I mean? Claude said, no man, burger, me need the money to, but go on back to school. I tell him, boy, but I don't think I have the money for go pay for college. He said, don't worry about it. I never forget. He said, they have a program of a class in the technical education department that is the teacher trainer department. Mm -hmm. So I said, go over there so you will get government subsidy. Mm -hmm. So I said, what? I said, I don't want to be a teacher. He said, burger, a degree is a degree. A diploma is a diploma. It was diploma then. And you know, and you, you see them things that teach me, you know, some like a principal in our life, you know. Yes. When you all have fine excuse, mm -hmm. somebody there has a good friend, a counter, them excuse, a car clouds and no man. Yeah. No matter how you know the money. Yeah, me know you know the money, me know nothing, but there's a way. There's, there's a way. always a little way. Don't settle for less. Don't settle on us, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm a follower of Claude Advice. So I'm to try. I go and surprisingly, I get through for the cars. Yes. The September. And that was it. Cars, which is now UTech now. Cars, which is yeah. now UTech. College mm -hmm. of Arts, Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. They are matter cars are up on your waters and it will turn back to you. Mm -hmm. Now, University of Technology. So I was there when they were um, transforming into a polytechnic institution at that time, mm -hmm. into a university. I was there at that time. Yes. Do that, throughout that transition, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, go there, so. Never could do maths and I go up there and do all ad maths, A level maths, college maths, mm -hmm. and all the L people. Mm -hmm. God good man. Mm -hmm. Never never stop giving up, you know. So how you manage the fees and, and stuff? You know, every year you just you just know say boy. People always say old people say when you reach a bridge there. Yeah, you cross it. Mm -hmm. That is how you must live your life. If you think about it, look at the problem that you have and the stress that you have, you're not going to move forward. Mm, you have to make the first step. Make the first step. Yeah. When you reach that bridge there, mm -hmm, you cross it. And I mean, I mean, I struggle. When summer comes, I go anywhere, I find a little work. I go do. I go to a supermarket at the time, the Ilo or Shopper's Fair, mm -hmm. and I turn bagger. Yeah, help pack the groceries. Yeah, and pack thing. people groceries. Uh, Sometimes, yeah, then we go stuff there. I was my little thing at that time then. Mm -hmm. You get a little um, fixed salary from the supermarket and more while you get a little tip from the people and more while, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a juggle. My mother wants some, I never get no work and my follow one bridge named Seabird. He used to cut grass and all them things. They cut people on a mountain view, mm -hmm. mountain terrace. I'm a follow him on this Seabird, but I look at work, you know. 
I can't use my shit, but he give me the work. Cause yeah. I mean, some are coming, I never get no work. Yeah. I'm a daddy, I'm a come, so boom, man. Remember the first day I go up on the road with Seabert and him give me a land for chop. And I stay, so I swing the machine, but I remember say if you use a stick. Yeah. So you say the one swing me, swing the machine, but come back and bow! Yeah. And bust one of them foot here. Seriously? And the woman come out and see the and say, oh my God, oh my God, how much is the launch? She just pay me the same time. <laughs> I don't think she caught all the money. <laughs> so, easy work, this all. Mm -hmm. But you had to do the odd jobs here and there too. You just do odd jobs here and there until you. But you have to just find a way to survive. Mm -hmm. Them time them they are college. They never even have all bus here sometimes for go to school. Mm -hmm. But them time they, the lucky thing is you used to pack up on the bus. Yeah. Them time they were going out here where everybody bought six, seven people hang out outside the bus. Me and one of them. Yeah. No, my I spot that. Yeah, man, my spot that because I'm telling you enough here. Yeah. And sometimes when you hang out, the doctor them not to remember for collect from your damn time there. So I always catch one of them and go spot there. Yeah. Yeah man, when bus when bus have been corner man, you the way over this almost a touch the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, exciting days them there. And sometimes when you go to college, you know, no for my friend them never even have lunch to. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have a department where home economics, you know, up there for cars and them do the baking and sometimes when the kids them do all them experimental cake and all mm -hmm. them things, like rice good. Yeah. I go over the lunch time for it. And you partake. I rise it for them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it's no shame in the end of the game. Yeah. You know what you want, you have to just go hard for it. Can't stop. People see where you reach now, you know? mm -hmm. and I say, boy, I want to be like burger. But are you willing to do what it takes? They don't know what we go through, man. <laughs> they don't know what we go through, you know what I mean? So we give God praise, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. you, were, you, you graduated from um, CAS. Yeah. And um, you're now a trained teacher. Trained teacher by profession. Mm -hmm. I never went I never went into the classroom you fully. That. I skipped that and I went straight into the working world. Mm -hmm. I teach it a little bit ad hoc yeah. here and there. But like not tutoring the, yeah, and, and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never never going to the full time thing. Cause I said, boy, I'm not going to the classroom because them picking are too big. Mm -hmm. Them time there. Mm -hmm. Many man must step on the same height and the same age. Almost them time, I'm so, not going to the classroom, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if you're flesh weak, not going there. Yeah, you have to know your limitations. I understand, say no more. So, where did you start working um, after you leave UTEC? If you um, I get a little job done, um, Caribbean Housing Finance Corporation, 56 Duke Street. Mm -hmm. They are now HAJ, mm -hmm. and I believe I would have spent about, after about 13 years there, went in as an accounting clerk until I rose on to the level of assistant manager, like a parish manager, mm -hmm. assistant manager and then parish manager for the various projects like Operation Pride projects. Mm -hmm. So that job afforded me the opportunity to travel Jamaica. Yes. I go every parish in Jamaica and work, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like that. And then um, when I left there, I resigned there and said, boy, I'm going pursue other things mm -hmm. that they thought was greener grass. but. Final, so sometimes the grass is so green on the outside, mm -hmm. you know, but Shuban got you. Left there and I would have um, went on to other things and I helped my brother out of my brother out of a free restaurant up at the mall plaza, no clothes, jump at restaurant. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I used me have my music system mm -hmm. and my talent. We used to do them because things up on the side, like pay weddings, MC weddings and them mm -hmm. stuff there. Mm -hmm. So um, your first encounter with the radio was at New Stock. And, and you spend how long at Newstock? I don't remember, you know, when, when, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm so sentimental with dates and all them up there. Mm -hmm. I did them, I didn't remember how long I stayed, you know, God know. Probably about one, two, three years. So what was your first experience into the radio? Well, you know, you're excited because I'm radio. Mm -hmm. And as I hear radio, so you're rich now. Yeah, but it was far from it. Mm -hmm. Man, I stayed the sun. Rough, dirty, tough. Mm -hmm. You have to do things on the side to supplement to mm -hmm. get a little piece of food, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But um, I left there and um, I got a call from um, Francois Sanjus. Mm -hmm. He was a then radio service manager and um, asked if I want to come down there and thing. And so, yeah, man. But then, I did it on the, the new stock in you know, the prime time slot, like two to five, mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. But it's a smaller station. Yes. RJ and I go, then put me on one night. One night. One night. You get up on the next station five days a week, prime time slot. I go RJ and they fling me on the night, eight mm -hmm. o'clock to midnight. One night. So it was a new experience for you to get adjusted to that. 
And then the adjustment, you know, more like, say, boy, yes, a Jano, what is this? So you feel like you make a step backward? Y you almost feel so. Yes. Even though, in a sense, you know that it is a really a, a positive step because Aja, their broadcasting frequency is, mm -hmm. is more extensive, yes. more listeners and so forth, and a big place. Mm -hmm. I say Aja has a university of radio mm -hmm. in Jamaica. I mean, when I reach, I say, you know, say, you reach. Mm -hmm. but that's my thing. That's my personal person opinion. Listen in the two to five slot coming no mm -hmm. no i mean then them time they have, you remember you have alan and the rain them time yeah, they, you know morning, really. yeah morning mm -hmm. really you have other people you know miss kitty and them people so it, mm -hmm. it really depends mm -hmm. but when we go there i say this to say even though you did that on the, the the new stock five days a week prime time then put your aja one night mm -hmm. eight until midnight mm -hmm. We could have choked me another year and keep another pity party and say, boy, what is mm -hmm. Flap them and flap me. But you ever hear old people tell you, say, if your head can go through, your body, body can go, go through. through. So you just push through your head. When you get an opportunity, use it to your advantage. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit down and go on cruise control. Yes. Use the opportunity where you get them say opportunity to come but only once. once. Yes. So if you get a little break, make the best and the most of it. Mm -hmm. So we go up on Friday night, I said, yes, you want to put me? I go go and like say, chop me just go, go through the motion. Me, me go hard. I make the best of it. What me say? Mm -hmm. Me go hard on the Friday, man. So till, watch you know, you move from Friday now, then give you the next day. So they give me Friday night and Saturday night. Yeah, because the thing has grown now. People yeah, are, are give feedback and express how they I never know the so the thing. They that swell. Mm -hmm. I when me did no one, I remember them have this thing called cross country invasion. Mm -hmm. And probably about my first year being at Adria, like the next year when the cross country came about. Yes. I remember Doreen said to me that, um, you know, you get to meet them. Doreen said to me, so we need many for come on the road with her, with them. I said, mm -hmm. why? I said, the people have been asking for you. You're surprised. <laughs> yes, and me. I said, yes. People have been asking for you. Who is Bergamo? They want to meet you. I mean, I say, seriously, God, <laughs> me burger, yeah? I go get papilla. <laughs> Give God praise, you so know? So you went on the road with them? Me go up on the road with them, and I just you know you start to see the response of the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, overwhelming response. People just want to meet them. I mean, I say, Jesus. I mean, this. If you had to pinch yourself and say, if I really you, this Miss Babsy boy. Yeah. And, you know, it, you know it's a really fulfilling experience, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then, Right this summer day and um, the afternoon program when Miss Kitty left, um, Mark and Willie for about two weeks and then moved him and put on Jerry D mm -hmm. with all the pomp and pageantry. Mm -hmm. He never worked out with it because mm -hmm. now nah, work out. And yeah. I guess then they saw my popularity in the night mm -hmm. and tried more, to than his, that. more than his. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So they were training me now. You know, I'm um, putting me up on the afternoon radio because they, they must say, well, you have, the, they have everything locked. Mm -hmm. You have the vibe locked, but you're on the patwa. Yeah, need to kind of refine it a little. Mm -hmm. And I never forget my supervisor, Derek Swiss, said to me them time, they say, Burger, when it comes down to the vibes and everything, you have it locked. But it has to be a little bit more than that. Presentation. It's key. You need to know how to articulate your words and so forth. And all of this thing, you know what I mean? Pronunciation, enunciation, all of that. So, them, you know, they put me in training mm -hmm. with Norma Brown and other folks. But the training was going a little bit slow and the afternoon show was going down fast. Yes. So they had to do something. So they asked me if I work with Markland at the time. Mm -hmm. I never said no. Mm -hmm. I said, let me give it a try. Yes. And cause some mistake. Don't shun it till you try. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, right? And then that was it. But I knew, I knew from then. So anyone anyway, get the opportunity to go up in the afternoon, you know, I make it, know make say, it be a hit. I know, let's see it, I never doubt myself. Not for one bit. Me never, I never, I see it before it happened. Because mm -hmm. I know my potential, and I said, I'm going to shell on that something. I always say it to my supervisor. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, well, you never, never share my view. So that's an important lesson to you believe. You have man like Barrage out there, where mm -hmm. they wire the place at the time. Yeah. I me never, me never, me never worried, me never afraid. Me know what me have. Yes. Me just tell myself, say they will listen to Barry G now, because there's not an option. Mm -hmm. 
But once there's an option. So I go and give them the option. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go man. You have to believe in yourself. I tell you, the first year, the, and then I did the, the market survey, the radio survey. Number numbers one. were up. And as we speak, we're not, we're not lose the number one slot. So that's a two live crew. The two RGR. live crew. Put a plug. It's um, a big. When is this program here? Give, give Monday to Friday, two to five. And it's, it's, it's I mean, right now, mm -hmm. the management of RJ, they have five stations they have now acquired. Music 99, Power 106, they have Hits 92 FM, mm -hmm. Fame FM, and us, RJ 94 FM. And mm -hmm. amidst the five stations, mm -hmm. our show top every other show mm -hmm. in terms of revenue, and popularity. So tell us um, a little bit about your exploits in TV. I know you had some some role plays there and stuff. Tell us how you got into yeah. that and stuff. You know, sir, I think my first encounter with with TV, I think would have been Lime Tree Lane, you know? Mm -hmm. Lime Tree Lane. Yeah. Um, Bones, Mark Martin, Bones, he normally teach us drama at UTEC then. Mm -hmm. Myself and Dave Harris were in the same drama class and so forth. Mm -hmm. And Bones was a drama teacher at them time there. And um, I remember one little opening, he'd come up in one little play too. Mm -hmm. I think they played the name Us Life, I'm not mistake. And me even go up me, me do the audition and I get through. Yeah. But them time I'm in my little church, and church keep on Sunday, mm -hmm. play up on Sunday too. So I said, mm, the two now go mesh. clash? No. So I did get the role, but I just never managed to go back. I never mm -hmm. go back to the theatre. Until look at openings come up and for Lime Trilly, I used to do like some, you know, cameo appearances and so forth, extra role, extra role mm -hmm. and so forth. Until I think the right mean, mm -hmm. because Christopher Johnny Dale at the time, I don't know what him and them, but he never did that. finish out some of the scenes, man. I think I get some of them script and them paraphrase and tell them give me a look at name and call me berries. I wasn't one of the popular char characters, mm -hmm. but then I did some stuff. And then I did a lot of private stuff, mm -hmm. right? And um, to date, you know? And I still want to branch out some more into TV. In mm -hmm. Sincere, I just did a, a TV series that's called Losing It. Mm -hmm. Yes, is a, Losing It. Yeah. And it is to be. Um, it is the reason why you are looking so slim and trim and 20 years younger. Tell us about the competition, how you got a part of the losing it and stuff. You know, say, let's see, you know. I did it, you know, I did weigh 260 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to talk. I'm my body. Love it. I did weigh 260 <laughs> pounds. Yeah. And you know, you don't know, say, fat. Mm -hmm. Until you take picture. Oh, my word. My brother used to mock me. Because then time I had to stand up, so I stand up, mm -hmm. see my table, I could have folded my hands up on my belly. Yeah. Comfortable like table, I never realized. Rest the plate my and everything, flat on it. My belly did out. <laughs> yeah, man. So you had a real big belly. Was it taking a toll on your, 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 your movements, your felt? You know, I did very fit and agile, mm -hmm. but here what now. Now listen to people all the while. Because you find, sir, People are going to tell you how oh, to lose weight and all them things. And I'm going to say, hear them, don't snack at night. Don't eat too much snack. Eat some fruits. Yes. So I follow them. You're killing the fruits. And you see sugar cane, what I love? Yeah, mango. And yam. Where the, where the, where the uptown mango name? East Indian? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's the uptown, uptown mango. mango. <laughs> yeah, eat. And, no, Blackie. Yeah, uptown. <laughs> no, I need got that. <laughs> I get a mango that. Black hair area, they, 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 them that they get a mango. But the uptown mango is the East Indian. Yes. And um, the Julie, the Julie, you know, a, a, a class. Yes, mega class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Julie, a mega class. But uptown mango, mm -hmm. East Indian. Mm -hmm. So I say, so now, boom, may I, may I eat them then? Yeah, they say eat more fruits than eating more fruits. I eat food. the I sugar cane, I go hard ah, every, I eat all two bag of $100 cane, big bag of cane. Yes. I had two bags, drop asleep sometime with all the bowl with the trash in front of me. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, I had all the banana. Because I must eat food, so I had two bananas with all the piece of bread more wide. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's. I'm fine, so now, more time in the studio, I broadcast and I read the script and I hear them, I feel foggy. Mm, blurry and things. Yeah, I mm -hmm. And when this accompanies me, I get up a mountain, you know, it's supposed to be outside if it look bright. Mm -hmm. 
outside look glary. Yes. You see? And then when I want to urinate now, find it a company with a force. Frequently. With a force. Mm -hmm. Can't hold it too mm -hmm. tough. Can't hold it. I said, what is? So at them time, you know, I got up on a health fair, mm -hmm. a broadcast. And I say, them have the sugar thing. I mean, they don't understand them. I said, I'm going to still do it. And when they stick me, mm -hmm. your sugar level is supposed to be about, I think, the maximum seven. When they stick me, they had 29. So much over? Four times above mm -hmm. my level. So the nurse at that time? Right. The sister, Mr. Burger, you need to find a clinic. Immediately. You have a bigger word than immediately? Right now. Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, yo. That will work. That will work. <laughs> I did me I did I mean, I know, you know. Mm -hmm. Because a sugar thing, you know, it can give you one thing name. What right name? Gangrave. Yes. Where they can all cut off your foot. Your, your kidney and anything, they can shut down. Yes. You can blind. Mm -hmm. you man, the more diabetes know. thing and everything. So I go to the clinic now, I take my little medication them and I say, yeah, the meds don't help, but you have to exercise. I'm going to go to the gym. I mean, I don't know if I stay at the gym one day, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. So I lose a piece of put it down back on, mm -hmm. you know? So I say, you know, something I forgot on a one tight regimen. Yes, strict. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I suck on me, say, they lose anything now. I mean, I know the producer, because I work hard, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said to her, I say, you know, more I'm coming to that thing there. She said, you really would? I say, yeah, man. I'm going to go. That's Sharon. Sharon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're in a, you're in a controlled environment to do whatever you're doing, it's better for you. Yeah. So I went into the thing with the challenges and it worked wonders. I went in at 260 pounds and I, at the end of the competition I lost 49 Nine pounds. Oh, wow. And hence so you're looking so so handsome. Look here to me. Say no. it again. To be to be honest. Say it again. To be honest, you look very handsome. S not even handsome, very handsome now. And you look 15 years younger. And sexy. No, I wouldn't go so far. Sexy burger. <laughs> but you really look good. And, yeah, man. And give, give God praise. So, so during the competition, how you manage? Um, I, I heard you had an injury. Yeah, well, not, not, not in the competition. I went to do a, a, um, an event in Trelawney. You know? mm -hmm. The ground did wet and me slide and go down my body weight. I made up the whole of the weight them time there. Mm -hmm. The whole 200 pounds. Go down upon the foot so. Mm -hmm. Sideways and I don't know the foot never pop. And from then time it's spraying, I never know that's a spraying take long for go away. And true, I probably not treat it right because it's supposed to ice it. I mean, the them sitting there. So, mm -hmm. so me, me, I went into the competition with that little thing there. But you see, I don't know the challenges. Mm -hmm. Don't focus on the negatives again. Yes. Look at the the bigger picture. Yes. But the short man do the challenges them. Mm -hmm. And I was the oldest person on that television show. Yes. Other than the person who were the at home contestants. Yeah. The the all, yeah. Mm -hmm. All of them did the challenge, I was the oldest. Mm -hmm. Some of them are twice them age. What? And you perform so well. None of them can run with left me. None of them. <laughs> me run with left to one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. When my boy set my mind to things, we yeah. did the competitive them with it. Yes. But I mean, people say, boy, why never win? Because I, um, the, the person who won, she, she beaten by seven pounds. But I never going out for win. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I me lose the weight, you know, me win, you know. Yeah. Says so I win, win. Me win. win. Right if I me lose the little weight, me win. Mm -hmm. Because I that me going out for, yes. for lose the weight. Mm -hmm. I forget my health mm -hmm. back in order. I feel good, man. I mean, trust me. I'm going to continue exercise because I want to maintain it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Where you see yourself, um, Burger? Can you just tell me five years from now? Five years from now? Mm -hmm. That's a very powerful question, and only the big man can answer that. Where I'll be five years from now. But if, if life spares. Mm -hmm. um, let me see now. My son is now 12. Mm -hmm. Five years from now, you'll be 17. So, right, so now I have to think about college or university. Yes. So, I always say, if I'm now, I can't put on that piece of food there. Yes. Fire. And uh, my daughter is um, eight. Five years from now, she's 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, she's going to go through our uh, puberty name. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> so, but you know, as a father, I have two children, Zawadi and, and Jordan Berger. And, um, I would love to see 
I mean, from now, you can save a little piece of thing, a little bit of scrums, yeah. money with car scrums, yeah. so that them, them look at education yeah, can secure. be secured. Mm -hmm. Also, your health. Mm -hmm. Very your health. important. Because we're at the point where right now we're in the diminishing return in our health, mm -hmm. the declining stages. So I would love for no sabo why you put on a little money for rainy day for your health. Any card can draw. Yes. Any card can draw. And I mean, if I, if I find, because I me, me got too old now for leave off already, for go walk in anybody's office, mm -hmm. they're not going to employ me. <laughs> so you have to think now to become a little bit more self reliant. Self reliant, that's yeah. very important. How you find parenting now versus when you were growing up? Well, I may tell you, you know, no for them picking where I get trouble now, you know, I realize so you got to turn mother and father, you know. Mm -hmm. No, they don't realize so they want to turn mother and father. So it's like, you, you, it's a time for reflection. Because you have to, oh, you used to treat your mother and father and, and get in trouble. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about it, I had respect for my, my parents, so that not changed. And I guess some of the same principles are still instilled in me. Mm -hmm. And you impart that also to your children. I believe in good manners. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Excuse, thank you, please. Mm -hmm. Them something there. Me just read to the core. Yes. So I try to train my child. Uh, children, sorry, to be respectful to everybody, mm -hmm. to everybody, and um, I just, as a man, you want to become a provider for your family. Yes, that's, that's very my important. most important task. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. As we close, could you just give our viewers um, a word of advice, encouragement? You know, I can tell you something, people. Never would we imagine that the United States of America would see its first black president, the 44th president of the United States, Barack Obama. We wouldn't have imagined because black people were being lynched. They are discriminated against until even this very day. We wouldn't have seen that possible. And moving into that election, his slogan was, I can. Yes. That's very important. If you believe it, you're able to achieve it. Everything is possible once you believe, but don't just believe work towards that belief or that goal. Mm -hmm. So don't ever give up. Don't keep no pity party. Work. If you try and you don't succeed, try and try. Try again. And try again. Mm -hmm. How oh, you close your program on, on the radio? Go I ahead. always tell you folks that it's nice to be important, but it's much more important to be nice. Mm -hmm. Walk good. God bless you, Jamaica. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us in another in our series, A Story to Tell. Join us next time where we'll have another interesting interview. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and also subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified of future productions that we will put out. So it's TTN or A Story to Tell on YouTube or on Facebook, you'll find us, all right? Thank you so much for joining us another week and take care of yourself.